Well, what's crack with you people? I'm Nasty here, and welcome back to the Jade Empire. In the last one, we made our way through the quarry, and... Well, through the quarry, through the ruins. Enter the quarry and help freeze slash disperse a lot of convicts and trapped spirits there. We also uh, learned that there was a password to some to some sentries up ahead. They, I think, it was Shao Hua. And we also learned from this blue spirit that apparently our journey is not at all what it seems to be. Hmm. Have to look into that sometime. Uh, anyway, let's uh, continue on forward because apparently there's an ally up ahead supposed to test us at the damn site. Ghosts denied access to the other world often go mad as they wander the earth. Yeah, don't say! Also, this is another um, loading screen that can potentially spoil you as to as this plot events because you you can see this loading screen um, before um, the character even shows up. I think you can see it like the like when you go through the um, uh, I think when you load into the marsh, you can actually see this. So yeah, you, they they have some they have some spoiler for loading screens in here. Even though it doesn't tell you much, it just gives you kind of previews and hints as to what can what can come around. Let's see here now then. Um, they're on here now. Well, let's keep on going then. Hey, is that assassin and the little girl? Did did you kill him? <laughs> I sense something strange about this girl. She is more than she appears. The Guardian is coming. He's very mad. He got mad at this man and hurt him. You better go away right now or he'll get mad at you too. What are you doing here, little girl? Or better yet, what happened to this assassin? He made the Guardian mad. The Guardian hurt him. He'll hurt you too. You should run away. Who is this guardian? Oh, it's too late. I told you to run away, but you didn't listen. Now the guardian's here and he's going to hurt you. He's really mad. Legendary strike. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> Chai Ka. Okay. Oh, he is doing some damage to me. Excuse me, good sir. Your master used tricks to deceive me before, but this time I am ready for your treachery. You will not have the gym. And notice before you die, I will hunt down every little assassin in the Empire until I get back the amulet your master stole. You can talk? Though I fell for your deception and that of the other little assassins, I am no ignorant beast. I am a guardian bound to protect the treasures of this place. I fail when I allowed your master to steal the amulet from me, but I will not fail again. You will never escape with this, with the gem. Amulet? Gem? What are you talking about? No, I will not listen to your lies. I will not be fooled again. Okay, Chaika, I'm gonna have to... Gonna have to. Ooh, dang! There's a guy packs a wallop! No, this cannot be. No one can defeat me. Even when your Lotus Assassin Master wrested the amulet from me, he did so by foul trickery. His followers fought me by the dozen, a distraction while he stole the amulet and fled. But you challenged me alone, and you are winning. Who are you? I tried to tell you I'm not a Lotus Assassin! Is it... is it possible? Are you... are you the one for whom I have waited? It is true. You have come. 
because of my failure against the lowest assassins, I did not think to test you. I waited so long, only to endanger my task over petty pride. Forgive me, Great One. This gem I guard is meant for you. Take it and know that I, Chai Ka, am your loyal servant sworn to protect you. You better tell you what's going on here. I am sworn to serve you, the rightful owner of this gem. I am bound to guard and protect you so that you might fulfill your destiny. I am Chai Ka, the Heavenly Gate Guardian. In the language of your realm, I am called a demon. My mind is uneasy here, and there are many things I cannot remember. But I know my fate is bound to yours. Your path will surely lead, lead you to the amulet that was stolen from me. I will be glad to see it in your hands where it belongs. I am honored to have you as my companion, Chaika. The honor is mine, Great One. My purpose is to help you fulfill your destiny. and I will do, the, do this to the best of my ability. Who was that little girl? Nawara Irok, wo sunurk. The little girl you spoke to before is named Wildflower. She is my anchor to your world. It is through her that I can exist here. Wo ufir ipir sir tin tin, wo wo wir. She is special. Without her, I could not bridge the gap between your realm and my own. With her as my host, I can manifest myself here. What have you done to her, demon? I have done nothing to her. She has helped give me form, and in return, I protect her. She is an anchor binding me to the mortal realm. I could not exist in your realm without her. I protect Wildflower from danger, and she allows me to fulfill my duties. We are separate, but in many ways we are also one. I would explain it better if I could, but as I said, it is difficult to understand. Uh, if you're coming with me, I want to ask you some questions. I will answer what I can. There is much I cannot say. I am here to fulfill the destiny that was that has been placed before me. So what is my destiny? I do not know. The will of heaven is kept from me. I know only what I am supposed to do. I knew I was to guard the amulet in the gym and I was to wait for the rightful owner. Now I know I must help you fulfill your destiny, whatever that may be. How'd you end up here? I was tasked with the protection of the amulet and the gems that are part that are a part of it. My bad. Let's try it again, shall we? I was tasked with protection. Nah, I was tasked with protection of the amulet and the gems that are a part of it. But to do that, I had to enter the mortal realm where they are. To exist here, I needed an anchor. That is where Wildflower has helped me. With the ability to influence and manipulate the material with the material realm, I could carry out my task. But even with Wildflower anchoring me to this world, I failed in my mission. Treachery took the amulet from me, now we must recover it to fulfill your destiny. How did Wildflower know to come here? She was already here. It was a benefit to both of us that she served at my ho that she served at my host. The will of the heavens dictate, and no mortal or demon can resist them. 
Okay. Tell me about the items you were guarding. Two treasures were entrusted to me. An amulet and a gem. Both are items of great power, but I do not know what they do. I only know they are meant for you. I have given you the gem and fulfilled part of my mission. But the lowest assassins took the amulet from me. You will need them both to fulfill your destiny. You said lowest assassins stole the am amulet? They came only a few days ago, looking for the amulet and the gem I protected. There were many, there were many of them. Too many. They attacked me all at once. I was able to kill them all, all but the leader. While I was fighting his followers, he seized the amulet and fled. I could not follow. My duty bound me here. I had to stay and wait for you. But now that you are here, I am free to leave this place and go with you to reclaim the amulet. Do you know where the thief went? No. He has fled beyond my reach. But I am confident you will find him and reclaim the amulet. It was destined for you. Not him. There's nothing else I want to ask. Let's go. I cannot follow you in the normal sense. I exist here, within Wildflower, and can only manifest for short periods. She will accompany you, and through her, and through her so will I. The Guardian wants me to give you this. That man over there had it. It's an inscrutable power source. The Guardian says you might need it. Inscrutable power source? What's that? The Guardian doesn't know what it's for, but he knows it's important. Otherwise, why would that man have had it? You better keep it for now. The Guardian says we don't have to stay here anymore. He says we have to go with you now. Is that right? Come on, you and Shaikar are with me now. Good. I like you. The Guardian likes you too. Um, there's a clearing outside Tina's landing away from me there, the others are better yet, stick with me for now. I want to see what the two of you can do. This is going to be exciting! We got an inferior scholar, Jim, and an inscrutable power source. Chaika, that's... Oh boy, okay, this Jim is an inferior quality, provides a small boost to your mind. So yeah, this was, um... The, the, pretty much Chaika didn't give you much... The, uh, the gem is a fairly rare gem, but common enough that, um, common enough that it really isn't that, what's the one I would say here, that special. So, he didn't give you much for this. But, we now know that the, that the gem we needed is gone. So, yeah. Chest. Okay, so. I am poisoned, so that's gonna- well, not, not really. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at the scroll stand. Tragedy in Tian's Landing. Let the history of this town not be forgotten, for the water that defines our border covers ghosts of children. Nearly two decades ago, just after the Shining Emperor's son brought water to the land again, Tian's Landing lay where the water now stands. Children played, and people lived and worked in the peace that only the lands away from the bustle of the heart of the Empire can bring. When the Great Dam came, few believed that the Emperor would allow us to come to harm. But harm came in the form of water that covered our homes and buried our families. When the flooding came to an end, the town of Tina's Landing lay submerged beneath this new sea, where only ghosts and ruined homes could flourish. Those who survived lived to rebuild, and Tina's Landing has come to prosper once again. Lest anyone here forget, however, we must always remember that our lives bend to the whims of the gods, the Emperor, and the decades-old machinery of the Great Dam. Yeah, the Emperor sounds like a complete and other... Well, I can't really say that. Now, see, now we got, um... Now then, let's go ahead and head into our followers here. Now, we have Chai Ka. 
attack, Demon Form. Her support recovers your health. Chai Ka's attacks can damage spirits. A guardian demon bound in the body of a child. Chai Ka will fight alongside you with his great strength or channel his power through you. So, we have Dawnstar who can recover your chi for the support. Um, uh, Sagacious Zoo, who lets you, who, who, um, you deal extra damage with weapon styles. Um, Sagacious Zoo, the series past, relies great experience and skill. His staff is valuable, it's a valuable asset in, pow in battle. And, you know, Dawnstar's magical sensitivity gives her added insight into the world around her. In battle, she cuts swiftly with her long, with her long sword. So, yeah, um, that's what we got. We don't need it. We, we don't really need the health boost for right now. Um, Who dares approach? Speak the command word or suffer the wrath of Death's Hand, loyal servant of the Emperor over us all. So we could say Shao Hua and let them pass. Well, let's go ahead and say Shao, Shao Hua. Shao Hua, you may pass. And there we go. Those are the sentries. Now if we go down here, we see a special thing, a special gem that we saw a little bit earlier, actually. We actually saw it from right over there, actually. I remember correctly. We actually saw it uh, on our approach up to Tina's Landing. Here's the Jade Heart. This was the glowing, the glowing item we saw. It's that over a turtle. Interesting. The mechanism to open and close the dam is controlled by a powerful enchantment focused on the Jade Heart at its center. From here, it's obvious that if you close the dam again, the ruins will flood fairly quickly and you would no longer be able to reach the old Tina's Landing site. Now we can remove the Jade Now what we can do is we can remove the Jade Heart and disable the dam so it can never close. This is what one this is what the um, wine merchant wants to do. But if we close the dam, we can then we can actually we can actually um but we just close it down, we'll do, we'll do a good deed. You close the dam, unleashing a blast of magical energy for the Jade Heart. Five thousand experience and a level up. Now I want you. Now I want to bring this up right now in case some of you may have already may have may already come to it come to this conclusion. This does not lock you out of Old Tina's Landing. You can always come back and close and close and, and open a dam again to get back to the um to get back to anything you may have missed. I have shown you everything that you can pretty much get in uh, in Old Tina's Landing, so there's no real need to worry about it. However, however, um, you may come through here. Get the kindly Yushin quest. Forget about it. Close the dam. Block it off and go. Well, I can't do that anymore. No, you can always come back and open it up again. Um, no real need to do so, but you can do it. Now then, we have a level up here. Let's go ahead and use it. So let's get our chi up a little bit, so we get a little bit more healing. Uh, we have eight eight style points. Um, to max out the speed, we need to do. You need to put that up to 10, so um, let's go ahead and increase let's increase the damage we can do with our uh, with our legendary strike. And let's go to Thief, the Chi the, the Chi Thief. Um and let's increase No, that'd be alright. Let's go down here actually. Can we do anything with this? Um, let's do some, hmm, let's see, let's do, let's see, that's kind of, kind of tough one to figure out. Ah, let's see, what do I want to do, actually? I actually don't know what I want to do. Let's, uh, let's, in, let's, uh, let's reduce... Let's increase the damage right now. And that'll do. So, after this, um, the dam is closed.
I hope you took a moment to celebrate as you flooded the valley. Whatever you hope to achieve by drowning that sad place will soon be undone. Sergeant, if you will, eliminate this pest. Uh, you'll have to go through me if you want to open this dam again. Like, wait, you don't need to follow the assassin's order, Sergeant! Ak nukwair to ak ithruwir nuk apifu taptuir kwair fnurt. You hope to appeal to my sense of pity? What's next? The town is town suffering? Think of the people? Bah! My loyalty to the Empire. The sergeant knows his place, and he understands that what we assassins do is for the good of the Empire as a whole. If a few people suffer, then they do so for the glory of Emperor Sun. Well, it's easy to just justify, uh... It's easy to justify, um, in your trust if you have that logic. Am I right, people? Sergeant? Ha, my long sword skills are better than yours. Bada bing, bada bing. Not little, it's a princess. Oh, is it a princess? Not an actual, not full fledged assassin. And off with his head. Yep, you can do that. Wildflower and Tricot didn't do a bad job there, but it does bring up something that I want to mention with regards to your allies. Unlike. Um, did I get, did I get anything else there? No, I didn't. Okay, so yeah, unlike. Um, other games, other RPGs, where you can level up your characters, even other RPGs uh, that Bioware have done. Um, you don't level up your characters in this game. Their stats are... The water covering everyone? Those poor children. I hate the water. It's too... familiar. Okay... Right, we saw it from over here. My bad. So you can't. Yeah, I think I remember you were over here. I think you can see it from down. Yeah, that's where it was. Okay. Because I believe we are right back to where we were from the old land, from the old crash landing site. But yeah, no, I mean, it, 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 what, what the hell I want to bring up with regards to your allies is that they they are hit and miss. They are very much hit and miss with regards to their effect effectiveness in battle. It honestly is to a point where it's kind of better to put them in support and not deal with them because you cannot upgrade their health, you cannot outfit gems on them. You just kind of have to put up with what you put up with, you know? And I don't think they're level scales with you. As you saw, their Tricot was like this big, burly demon we had to fight. But inside that fight we had there, he. You have managed to survive. I suppose someone of your skill cannot be easily dissuaded. Who are you? Why did you attack me? Oh, better yet? Another ambush? You barely escaped last time. You are more skilled than I expected, but I rarely need to escape from anyone. I had to step back, which allowed me to see that you are not my enemy. You may call me Silk Fox. I apologize for my previous aggression, but I thought you were in league with an enemy of mine. I was clearly mistaken. Powerful forces are at work here. You are caught in great events that are beyond you. But I may have use for someone as impetuous as you. Why should I trust you? Trust? I never said we should trust each other. I don't trust you at all, but our goals may be similar. I want nothing more than for you to continue your journey. You seek the old man who was taken from two rivers, correct? Of course you do. He was taken by Death's hand. I could tell you where his minions have gone. For a price. I could beat it out of you. You can't defeat me. And what do you want for this information? A simple trade. I tell you where the abductors are, and you tell me who that old man is. So we could either go with he, the old man was Master Sun Lee, my teacher, or he is Sun Lee, the glorious strategist, the Emperor's brother. Basically, one is very humble, he kind of keeps who he is, who Sun Lee is to himself, but the other one kind of lets on that there's more going on than meets the eye, and honestly, 
at this point, I believe that my character would say this to gather what they know from this, considering that, you know, Sagesha Zoo straight up mentioned that suddenly would never reveal that he's the glorious strategist to anybody. It would have been a mistake. So let's see how far this goes. He is Sun Lee, the glorious strategist, the Emperor's brother. Sun Lee? Ha! You think me a fool? You are either a liar or very, very confused. Believe what you will. I know the truth. You don't know as much as you think you do, but you have answered my question, and I will answer in kind. It would take a season to reach the Imperial City by land or water. Air is the only quick way, but you need a wind map. I know the location of one. Lord Yun governs much of the Great Southern Forest. He petitioned the Lotus Assassins for a wind map so he could settle a trade disruption. Of course, that has earned him their attention in addition to whatever trouble is infesting his lands. I doubt he has time for charity, but you might try to find him. Hmm, so, this one is probably not going to ha happen, but we could do this one, help me defeat Death's Hand. I have matters of my own to attend. If you survive, we will see what use you are to me. Remember, if you want to reach the Imperial City, you must go to the forest and get that map from Lord Yun. My path takes me elsewhere. If you actually reach the Imperial City, I will be impressed. Until then, I wish you luck. You are a surprising little peasant. Well, someone's up her own backside. Now, why would she call me a peasant? She's a thief. So, yeah, um, it, it's to a point to where... Is honestly probably more beneficial to get your allies, set them in support mode, and then don't worry about it. Because with Dawnstar, you have infinite chi. With um, with Chai Ka, you have infinite health. It all depends on what on what it is you really want to do. And putting them in support mode kind of puts them in easy mode, which I want to say, I think Bioware didn't... Oh, the way the Close Fist was originally put forth by a philosopher named, named Bladed Thesis, who felt the... Sh felt, okay, my bad. I'm, okay, well, you can read that. But my whole thing is that they really could have thought this one out with terms of balancing and making your allies useful, because I think they're too much of glass cannon. Hey, you're the man the captain said to look out for. He said to tell you thank you very much and to give you this. I think he couldn't wait to get out on the river. And as soon as the water came back, he left. Thank you. Here's a silver piece. Thanks so much. Wow, now I can eat for another day. Does it get any better than this? 2300 silver. I think if you kept it all, you've gotten 2400 silver. Um, now let's go through the, uh, to the fire. Okay, so we have Dawnstar and Sagesha Zoo. Do you guys have anything new to say? You have attracted a very odd minion in that girl Wildflower. I sense great conflict in that one. Tread lightly. Sagesha Zoo, could that be actual concern in your voice? It would be a great inconvenience if we were all suddenly slaughtered. Now what do you need of me? I want to I want to know what you and we were talking about. Nothing to concern yourself over. Very old business. I traveled this way when I was fleeing the Lotus Assassins. I want to know that you were fleeing the Lo you were fleeing? So leaving the Lotus Assassins was not a choice. Oh choosing to leave is easy enough. Surviving the choice is not. Is that a surprise given their nature? Wei's comments about Master Li are more outlandish. She confirmed that he's the Emperor's brother. I know Hui to be a truthful and honorable person, much more so than I consider myself to be. I do not question her belief, but belief alone is not enough. What if it is true? Much will have to change to accommodate this truth. It means the Emperor lied about Li's death, and he may have assaulted the heavens. The Emperor subject to the common vice of deception. Unthinkable. 
Yeah, so we have either you don't seem the type to hold such allegiance to the Empire, why is it unthinkable, he is a man like any other, or then Death's Hand has far more influence than he should. But my whole thing would be, why is it unthinkable, he is a man like any other. No, he is not. He is Emperor Sun Hai. He is as close to the heavens as a mortal can be. I warn you, this will lead in a dangerous direction for you and Dawnstar. I cannot condone it, but I have agreed to help, and I will. Just don't blame me when the whole world is against you. I appreciate your help, even if you give it reluctantly. You will need more than my help. Just try not to endanger your companions. They are not to blame for what your destiny mandates. Now, is there anything else? I want to talk about you some more. You seem agitated. I am always agitated. It is because of my training. We were taught that we were always being watched, always being stalked. In many cases, it is actually true. You likely have similar feelings. When trained to be as vicious as the assassins, or when you are the protege of a famous master, you tend to attract unwelcome interest. I wonder how you will react to this scrutiny. I also wonder if your fellows will stand by you when the true weight of what you claim becomes known. If anyone is drawn to my cause, I will do my best not to endanger them. You question why I should be trusted. What about you? If Master Lee was right, people should help me to help themselves. <laughs> um, and, yeah, this, I think this one's more appropriate. If anyone is drawn to my cause, I will do my best not to endanger them. Your best may not be enough. That is why it is so often used as comfort after failure. You tried your best, but death consumed the nation anyway. Sorry. The sides of the coming conflict seem very well defined. That will not always be the case. It is sometimes difficult to see the truth behind the actions of others. Enough. I don't have anything else relevant to say. Perhaps I will when I have seen more of what you are capable of and what your master intends. No one's talking about you. I've said enough for the time being. The events that surround you cause me great concern. I want to see more of what is coming before I decide my next action. Okay, um, goodbye for now. Goodbye then. So Sagacious U is pretty much our Carthor Nasty of this game. If you've played Night of Republic, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But, the, but, but, uh, Zoo pretty much encompasses what I talk about, what I mean when I say that, that, um, that Jade Empire takes a very philosophical approach to his storytelling. Uh, like Zoo does not outright say I I am not going to help you or that I don't outright believe you, but he is saying that there are things transpiring here that are causing me great concern and make me question everything that I know. The, he's a lone assassin. He was raised to think, well, as far as we know, he was pretty much trained to think that the emperor is above all and everything you do is to better the empire. So why did he leave? Why is it so hard for him to shake that notion that maybe the Emperor is wrong about something? There is something that Zoo's not telling us, and I like how they kind of do it in this game. It's very clear they took the template from Karth, the Karth and Nasi um, and National Republic, and refined it to be a little bit more tolerable by making it more philosophical. Now, you can say pretentious if you want to. That's also a very valid point to make, but I don't, I, I don't think it would be fair to dismiss outright what the game's trying to do with his characters. Now, what does Dawson have to say? The people of Tian's Landing owe you a great debt. You saved their town. Master Li would be proud of you, as am I. If you could spare some time, could we talk about what we have seen? Well, I'm interested in how you are, Dawson. Is there anything bothering you? I'm not sure I can make my concerns fully understood. Our time in the ruins, the creatures we encountered, so much unrest. This was different from what I have seen before. There is pain here, but hatred too. The spirits around Two Rivers seemed aimless, lost. These are focused. I feel they would linger here, even without the support of whatever has increased the ghosts elsewhere. Understandable, considering the injustice that was done. If they could not understand in life, how would they in death, or why concern yourself, they fall like any other. So the, so the idea would be, um... Yeah, I think, I think the first one would be better. Uh, understandable, considering the injustice that was done. I suppose that is true. Left behind by their neighbors, literally to die. Could you recover from such abandonment? I'm not sure that I have. 
I mean, if I had suffered something like that, I'm sure it would have stayed with me. You were abandoned? Tell me about it. I should not feel bad about it. I was not left to die. I was sent to study at the school, probably so Master Lee could deal with my sensitivities. It doesn't compare, really. These spirits, they truly suffered and have a right to turn on those who left them behind. Me? I feel like my abandonment was partially my fault. But I was three and I couldn't help being different. I would have tried to fit in if I had been given a chance. Hmm. Let's see here. So we have better to have anger than put the sorrow. They might kill their enemy. You won't hurt yourself. Doesn't matter. You are a long way from home and we are through the ruins. <laughs> um, don't feel bad for being special. In my eyes, you have no choice. I'm glad you came to school. Don't linger on fools who may have shunned you. I like this one. Don't feel bad for being special. In my eyes, you have no choice. It may not seem like it, but I draw great strength from you and the things you say. I am grateful for that. As always, I have much to think about after speaking with you. Perhaps we can continue this another time. I have some general questions. I will. Uh, is that bother you? No, I didn't have anything pressing on my mind. Strange. So yeah, everything was done for right now. So basically, as you can tell, Dawnstar is one of your love interests for this game. One of them. Um, and we'll be meeting the others later. That's not the wildflowers. Do you just anything to say? What do you want? Uh, what do you think of our current situation? You need to repair your ship? For the place you're going and the man you want to find? The Guardian says it's a mightier task than you think, but that you're special too. I think you're special too. All the others are people, but you're different. <laughs> I like you. Is there anything else you wanted? She seems like a sweet little girl. Uh, tell me a bit about yourself. Uh, about me? What, what do you want to know? You want to talk to him, don't you? The Guardian? No, I'm asking about you. I... I don't really know what to say. I don't really do much. I just go where the Guardian tells me to go. Where we're needed. I trust him. He won't let them hurt me. Won't let who hurt you? The evil men. The bad ones. And... The other. But he says not to worry that none of them are here now. But they follow you. Which is why we've come. Now we're needed here, with you. You're the last, he says, so we have to protect you to make sure balance is restored. You hold the amulet and can use it, unlike... Oh, he says I've already said too much. He doesn't like me talking about him while he's busy. Maybe... Maybe we can talk again sometime? But for now, not about that. Is there anything else you wanted? Uh, nothing right now. We'll talk again later. Okay. So, yeah, Dawnstar, uh, Dawnstar Wildflower seems like, a, seems like a nice little girl. I wonder why someone left her inside the ruins. Um, or at least why she was in the ruins. I won't say she was left. Well, I know she's probably just wandered in there. Um, but I will, I want to say, I'm curious about this other and why Shai Ka doesn't want her talking to us like that. I offer you I offer you an enormous amount of silver to perform a simple task. Instead, you choose to close the dam and ruin my business. Yet, yet damn right I did. It is too late for my wine operation, but I am a man of business and I plan to collect payment in one form or another. Look here, buddy. I was already asked to close the dam. You butted your nose in where it didn't need to be butted in. I don't give a damn about your business, so go on something before I put you cast these hands. Oh, Alright, cast these hands! Ha. Merchant Jacques. Cast these hands! Catch these hands! Or wait, wait, catch these feet! Catch these legs! I got legs for days! My thighs might not be thick, but they will end your life! I hate so right, you were not worth that much, were you? Good night, Silver. Sixty nine Silver. So now I wanna bring this up right now. Um 
the silver he would have offered you, if my memory serves correct, is actually the exact same amount of silver you get from the captain should you talk to him about closing the dam before you actually close the dam. So you effectively would have gotten the reward anyway. You are rewarded for open palm and closed fist in this instance. Um, I think you might have got a little bit less from the captain, but still. But still. Now, we did a decent amount of open palm work over there. Let's see if you guys see learn this new skill from Mistress Vo. Your move, old goat. Always a pleasure to talk to another warrior. My game of Yi with Jian can wait a moment. What can I do for you? I seek your training, Mistress Vo. Yes, I know. It is good that you have come to me. You deserve to learn to control the earth, but you must also learn that the stone can never truly be controlled. What she means to say is that if you cannot defeat her stone immortal style, the earth will tear you apart or swallow you whole. It is the only way you will learn the true secrets of stone immortal. I will not force you into this decision. Do we truly need to fight? Can't you just train me? There is no need to fight at all, but if you wish to learn and to grow, you must be prepared to make sacrifices and take risks. The key is to ensure that those risks are worthwhile for all involved. I'm sure you know what you must do in this case. I will face Storm and Multa with no fear in my heart. Good. This will not be an easy test, but I suspect you are ready for it. So basically it's another magic style. As you can see here... Okay. So yeah, that's Stone and Mortar right there. It's, she's pretty much an Earthbender, so yeah. I believe I brought this up. Oh, sweet detergents! I forgot it did that! Okay. I'm gonna need to use my focus on this one because man, oh man, oh man, are you making this hard for me. Oh no, you don't. You're not gonna make me into a tree. Well done. Very few can withstand Stone Immortal. Only those who understand the world around them, in fact. You understand your place, and yet you are not afraid to use your strength when it is required. That will serve you well in this lifetime. And... Careful. As I said, that will serve you well. What were you about to say? Don't mind me. I was just thinking out loud. Students of your caliber are rare. If you two are finished praising each other's relative harmonies, would you please train the Lambo? My stomach won't, won't handle my handleable sugar. <laughs> Don't mind him. Men become temperamental at his age. Here, let me teach you to coax the earth to do your bidding. Only your connection to the world and your understanding of your place will convince them. There, you have it. An honor to learn from you, Mistress Vo. It was an honor to teach what I could. I am not the instructor Master Jian was, but his lessons would not have suited your temperament. I am just Jian, no, I'm just Jian the Iron Fist. My best, pr my best pupil turned away from my instructions, after all. Remember to remain true to the high path. The Earth only serves those who know their place among all things. Enough of this. I would say our game is concluded, though. It is time we parted ways. Indeed. Shall we meet again next year, Jian? Niato nonapadi irovir. You won't last that long. Our paths will cross and you'll learn that this old tiger still has all his teeth. You have made that proclamation every year for two decades. Those teeth must be frightfully long by now. However do you open your mouth anymore? Until next year, you old goat. And like that, you learn Stone Immortal and you cannot get the other style because they walk away. They were, they were, the viral was to think about, the, 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 think about that because you could, op, you could obviously, you know, go off and do Stone Immortal style, then go back, do, uh, do the Iron Fist and then get, then get his skill. But yeah, no, they, uh, they thought about that. So, 
here it is. Um, pretty much that. Now, I wonder if this guy has anything to say to me. Ah, a customer, yes. Indeed, indeed, indeed. A customer for Merchant Shipeng, who will surely soon be the richest merchant in the square. Who are you? I am Merchant Shipeng. Once, I worked for Merchant Xiang, but now he's dead. Very sad. But don't worry, I've taken over his business. You want to buy something? Let me see your wares. Yes, yes, and yes. <laughs> My skill and suavity as a merchant triumphs once more. Borders can be so strange at times. <laughs> My charm works again. So he pretty much has a couple of things that we can get. The flawed scholar gem. Um, inferior scholar gem and inferior tuition gems. He has a couple of gems we can use, and the gem of monk's foresight. This is pretty much the. This is pretty much the um. What's this called? The key equivalent to the uh, to the scholar gem we got. Um, and we have flawless weapon style, artifact weapon, drains focus plus twenty percent damage over basic stat style. As an artifact weapon, flaws will replace less powerful stats when purchased. The scrolls of pink. Pink key contained the story of a monk who shaped a flawless staff using only swatches of silk. At first, the silk did nothing but polish, but polished the rough wood. But after 34 years, the staff was perfectly smooth, straight, and flawless. After finishing the staff, the monk told his abbot he was going for a walk to test his new staff, and he and he never returned. An exile warrior eventually discovered the staff and, and attached a sharp blade that is. That is every bit as perfect as the staff itself. It has since been adorned with precious metals, but it but it remains as flawless as ever. So this is a, a new weapon style you can learn. Um, let's go ahead and sell some stuff to the store. Um, we don't need the scholar's gem. Like 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 going back here, as you can see, the gem that that <laughs> that Chai Ka gave us, we can literally buy again. So we're going to go ahead and sell this. Um. Uh, yes, yeah, yeah, you have two of these. We can sell another one. Um, let's go ahead and sell the flawed monk gem, and we'll sell this. I'm gonna keep my special gems because, to be honest with you, I like having them around. And before we buy anything else, before we buy anything else, Calbazor, use the tree conditions of the blood and circulation. A Calbazor forms only in the stomach of very ill cattle. Calabazores are extremely rare, but many seek them for their curative nature. So before we buy that, because I would like to buy that stat, because you because because uh, they because they will not replace your sword. Um, as opposed to Fortune's favorite, uh, and uh, and and Tian's forget what it's called. Um, it wasn't Fortune's favorite, it's Tian's um because we have Fortune's favorite. It's um Tian's staff. Um basically um so she has nothing else we can get. So we got we've pretty much gotten everything we can from her. Um, so basically, what I'm getting at is that even though we have um, a longsword now, it this staff will not replace our longsword. It only replaces the staff that we had. So you could very much get here, buy a new staff, and forget the other one because you don't keep the weapons that you that you get. Um, so even though these weapons are le weapons of legend. If you buy a new longsword, you lose Fortune's favor. But I don't believe buying a new longsword actually does anything different. Um, before we do that, I want to speak to this merchant real fast. I think he has something for us. Welcome back, Honorable One. Since the dam was closed, I've been able to restock my supplies. Would you like to see what I have for sale? Show me what you have. Wonderful, and since you helped me out with Tong, you can have the preferred customer rate. So, he, he, he teaches us Storm Dragon style. This is a support style. Does, does direct damage in Chi Shui mode. This, this style's area attack can in, in initiate a harmonic combo that produces a focus power up. The forms and strikes of Storm Dragon enable the master to call upon the power of lightning to damage an opponent. While this style's attacks don't cause any direct damage, his motions come his motions summon forth electricity to course through his victim, doing small but constant damage over time. Storm Dragon will rarely win a fight on its own, but combined with other styles, it can easily change the tide of a difficult battle. This is this is the uh, support style we saw inside the ruins. I wanna grab this. 
um, Storm Dragon style. This is the style that we learned is that they sound like ruins used by the Lotus Assassins and by the Imperial Soldiers. It pretty much does a stun, stun move. Now let's go ahead and see our uh, techniques. No, not that. We're going to go... What was the techniques? No, I believe it was styles. Okay, here we go. So, Storm Immortal. Resonance, stronger when wielded by a follower of the way of the open palm. Drains Chi. This style's power attack, the power, power attack in the Shader Harmonic combo. Fighters who study this style gain mastery over the ponderous element of Earth, putting the mighty power stone and crystal at their command. Masters of Stone Immortal have the ability to attack enemies with crystalline missiles, uh, in, this one is also in case foes in stone, or even open the ground beneath an opponent's feet. To command the power of the power of Earth requires a mind centered on balance, stability, and order, and so Storm Immortal is a favorite style among followers of the way of the open palm. It is far less effective if wielded by those who follow the way of the closed fist. So here's your first instance of a style. As you can tell, you you know if you go through and read and read some of these, you can actually see what what styles initiate a harmonic combo. Um, this style can complete a harmonic con combo, this strains focus, doesn't do a harmonic combo. Um, this does not initiate a harmonic combo at all, so there is, there's that. Uh, dire Flame, that kind of thing. But basically, the Storm Immortal style gives you the ability... Um, the Storm... well, what did I, what did I talk about here? I was trying to go off a second. Yeah, Storm Immortal is one of the first styles that you get... That if you follow the way of the closed fist, it does nothing for you. It actually does less damage. But as way to open palm, it does more damage. So there's a reason to do this. Mr. Shang. You did it! How the people will sing the praises of Minister Shang, who found, hired, and sent forth the helpful peasant who ultimately solved the problem. Are you trying to take credit for my exploits? Not at all. I may even mention you in my report. I need to find a flyer. Minister Shang remembers when flyers were reserved for the wealth. I suppose, in theory, you could find a. F okay. I suppose. So you're you're already talking about this. Um. Goodbye. Very well. Run along. Now that the dam is closed again, Minister Shang is on his way back to the Imperial City. I'm sure of it. And with that, we'll call it a part here. I've been awesome. You've been awesome, and I'll catch you later.